Hey guys, Mikey here. Today I want to talk to you guys a little bit about making a go-to um, makeup bag. So this is like my makeup bag on the go. Um, and basically I put in there a lot of really tiny things um, just if I like uh, mess up my makeup or if I want to touch up my makeup or if I don't have any makeup on and I'd like to do it later. Um, it's really easy and small and compact and it's not like my full size makeups. So, um, first what I would recommend is getting samples. So I actually get my Sephora Beauty Box and that has been super helpful. I'm just getting these super tiny, cute, um, here. This is a really cute, tiny, um, version of the Estee Lauder, um, foundation. And it may not always be my, like, go-to, um, foundation, but it's still super helpful when I'm on the go and, like, I feel like a bunch of my makeup is coming off. Hopefully that doesn't happen, but if it does, because it will, um, I just have something that is super quick, easy, and super tiny. Um, so next, what I would suggest is having a mascara. So, this is my mascara. Uh, this is the Sephora brand that, uh, I also got in, uh, a beauty box. Hold on, let me get a few others. All of my makeup. So I actually have a few mascaras that can be put into this beauty, um, this beauty to go bag. Okay, so here's all my tiny sample ones. Uh, this is a Benefit Roller Lash. Um, this is a Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. Um, and then this is an Urban Decay. So just with these right here. Like I said, beauty boxes are like a lifesaver just for these tiny things and they're so fun. Uh, yeah, so these three right here. So I have all three of these and I would choose which one I wanted. Um, honestly, I would probably go with the Tarte just because it's like really thick and nice for if I don't have anything on my eyelashes and I wanted something. While I would probably definitely use my um, Roller Lash Benefits uh, if I have um, false lashes on because it just honestly colors my eyelashes. It doesn't really lengthen or thicken them much um, Or I'd go with the Urban Decay um, Perversion Bigger, blacker, batter. I haven't used this one um, very much because I just got it in my last beauty box uh, for my Yeah, for my May box. So this is it for my May box, but yeah, these are all really great. Uh, um, these are all really great mascaras. If I can talk, that I would recommend. Okay, so I'm gonna put this in my bag, and I'm gonna put this in my bag. Actually, it's crazy too. I I have a few other foundations that I've gotten. Oh, and there's also this Mary Kay Really Baby one too that I have. That's Love Lash Mascara. Uh, I don't really use Mary Kay that much, but when I do. Okay, so here is my Makeup Forever. Um, if sometimes I need something that is just a little bit thicker, so that's why I use the, um, the MAC brand foundation. So I don't... But yeah, so I actually do have a Makeup Forever full size. And I really love it. It's like, it just feels like a veil, but I can't use it all the time because I do have a lot of acne. Uh, but yeah, so this is really good to put in there if you want a different foundation. Uh, I got a Dior foundation once and I just found it to be super oily for my skin. Um, but I paired it in my um, to-go bag for a little while just because it was easy, it was on the go. Whatever. Oh, by the way, um, I haven't used this yet, so I don't really know what it's like, but it comes in a nice bottle. Okay, so I'm gonna put this back in. Um, so mascara, foundation, uh, and then probably next what I'd go to is like a super cute like mini eyeliner. So I actually got one from Sephora that I used, but I used it all up really quick. 
but this one's from Ulta and it just came in one of their little kit things um, and this is double sided and it's just really tiny and like really easy on the go I do have a black one but right now I'm holding my plum and indigo because my black one is uh, another way that you can get foundation um, and pack it is getting one of these little things. So this is a super, super, super cute um, little tiny uh, paint container that I actually got at Joann's or Hobby Lobby. And basically, what you can do is you can put your foundation in it and save that. And it's also like uh, really tiny and it's on the go and it's really great. So if you do have a big bottle of something you love, you can turn it in to like a to-go. So I can link, I can link down below um, Joann's uh, paint containers if you do by chance want to get some for yourself or Hobby Lobby. I'll look at both, but they're actually super cheap, only a few dollars to get one of these. Totally worth it. I have, mine is in here because I actually was running out of my MAC foundation and so I couldn't like reach all the way into the bottle to get all that so I just kind of let this all drip into this tiny thing which I really want to get one of those little mini makeup spatulas like so bad so I can like actually like get out the last bit of my makeup because let's face it foundation is really expensive it should be a crime I'm gonna put this in my bag and then a lipstick is really good so I have this little mini tart lipstick um, gloss I don't know quick dry whatever stuff and you can always get baby samples of these things um, like if you buy something with your purchase or whatever I have a bunch of really tiny lipsticks, but I don't wear lipstick, so like the only thing I really wear is like this and some MAC stuff, but I got this um, Grande Lips thing that's really tiny, and I also have all these really cute Mary Kay ones that I don't really use because they're really crazy colors, but yeah, so little tiny things, but I really like the Tarte ones. The Tarte ones I think are the best because they're so cute and they're tiny and they also work really well and I really like them. box primer. I totally forgot about this. So with the Sephora boxes, you can also get this little cute like primers or whatever. Like everything comes in really tiny sizes because they're samples and they work so well for on the go. So if I wanted to actually throw this primer in here into this bag and there we go. And then of course you've got your sample perfumes that you can get either in like magazines or um, your Ipsy Sephora boxes. Um, what is it? Birch box? Is that the other one? Something like that. Um, which I can link all of those like box subscription below. And I'm not getting any money for this. No commission. Nobody really knows who I am. So. Oh, I have my Daisy one though. My Daisy Dream. Marc Jacobs. I really love Daisy. Um, perfume. It's literally my favorite. See, I don't have much of it left. Because I love it so much. That's okay. Because I bought some like mini sizes that from Sephora yeah I go to Sephora so much that like there's one time that I would get me and my one friend spent two three hours in there picking out a lip shade for her wedding and then they like now they like know me by name they're always like welcome back and I'm like I promise it was only one time deal okay moving on this is super crazy and super cute but I got this uh Laura Mars. I got this setting powder that's um, the Laura Marcier um, translucent setting powder and it's super tiny and cute so it literally looks like the size of an eyeshadow but it's actually setting powder and honestly this is actually lasting me a really long time this is an unopened bottle I'm still working on the open one um, and this is super tiny and you can also put this in here too and I got it in my box and look we like haven't really even filled it up and we have so much makeup in here already okay um oh here's also a lipstick that I got this bite look how freaking cute it is it's so tiny I need you to look at this tiny lipstick 
so cute. Okay. Uh, here's another uh, Laura Mercier primer. And this is the Radiant Primer. And I don't really like it because it makes my face all shiny. Um, but, you know, Desperate Times calls for desperate measures. And this is tiny. And uh, not as tiny as the other stuff, but it's tinier. Um, so you just put it in your bag to go if you want. Okay. Uh, eyeshadows. Oh, also another baby primer. Also, if you wear false eyelashes every day like I do, or even if you don't wear it every day, you may want to add in your uh, a little tiny extra bottle of glue. So this is just like a kit glue, which isn't amazing, but like when you're desperate, it works. It's there. So, yeah. Okay, and then I have my NARS blush. So, this is super pretty and super tiny. I actually got this with my Sephora points. So, I spent 100 points on it, but I really wanted this color for a really long time. Uh, so, I just decided to splurge, and I got two of them. So, this is, like, super good to put in. That It's tiny, it works, and you can just, like, dab a little bit on your finger and rub it in. If you want to go that route. Or, to save on size, I actually, hold on. I actually got this um, Tarte palette that's like really tiny too and inside it has um, kind of like contouring so it has like a highlighter, my blush, and then like my bronzer type contour stuff and it's really nice because even though this is a lot larger than all the other items in my bag it literally carries three different items and it's like right there and it fits. Eyeshadow. Because, Mikey, what do you do about your eyeshadow? Well, I am so glad you asked. So, I have these little mini Mary Kay um, eyeshadows. And I can toss one in and I'd be good to go. But, you can also get those little tiny Sephora brand stuff. So, literally, if you just pack like a dark color and like a medium color, then it's like you're golden or you can do like a light color a medium color and a dark color to get like that pretty smoky eye um but yeah i just pack like one of these or two of these and i like kind of lightly put it on my eyes and it looks natural and it's good to go oh and then some extra things so i have these cute little mini brushes i also put in them Sorry, my hair is everywhere. So this is like an e.l.f. brush that's super cheap, but it gets the job done. This is from Ulta. It's super tiny. I have no idea where I got it from, or how I got it, I mean. And then I got one of these really tiny um, nail files that I also throw in there, because even though this is like all makeup, sometimes nails break. Like, let's be honest, nails do break. But like when your nails break and you constantly accidentally scratch yourself because you have like a jagged nail is literally the worst. So carry one of these things, they're super cute and tiny. I think you can just get them at Walmart. Um, yeah. So in conclusion, some other things that you can think of is, if you wanna grab. And then I got uh, actually a Benefits um, bronzer. So this is, you know, the stereotypical Benefits bronzer, um, Hula. And I don't use it much just because I'm already so dark, I don't really need it. But you can also throw this in too if you want a little bit of color. Um, but yeah. Okay, and so last minute eyebrow stuff. I, because actually, what I've been told in the past is if you were to just have to like do anything for like, what really completes the look is your eyebrows. And I actually don't have really very much eyebrow. Like, I literally have to draw my eyebrows on every single day. Um, but I've got this Benefits um, Gimme Brow. That's really cute one that's like, if you have a lot of brow, but you just need color. It's really good. And then I also have this really tiny Mary Kay pencil that I just think I've worn down from, like, sharpening. Um, but I'm sure, you know, you can get, like, samples of brow stuff, too. Uh, but yeah, so you may have some of those. But yeah, so I'm going to add my brow pencil in.
and I still need my eyeshadows. So this is a Mary Kay eyeshadow that I have, um, and another Mary Kay eyeshadow that I have, and yeah, and then I have this little tiny NARS size one. So NARS is really great because like just it's not hard finding little tiny eyeshadows to be honest. You can do it. I believe in you. But yeah, so I am going to throw in this and honestly that completes my bag. So to recap, I have my baby foundation. I have my translucent powder. I have my pretty tart lipstick. And I have my tart mascara. My Mary Kay brow pencil. Um, my photo finish primer, my Ulta eyeliner, and then my Tarte Hampton Weekend palette. And I haven't really thrown in an eyeshadow. Oh, and then my Sephora eyeshadow. So all of that together sits up nice, perfect, and I can put it in my backpack for school. Um, and I can it for a weekend trip um put it in my purse so it's literally so nice to have a to-go bag so i would really recommend making one of these um yeah it's gonna be hard finding little sample things if you don't have a beauty box subscription to anywhere but i think it's possible like magazines sometimes give you perfumes um even going to sephora and asking to get your color matched which is super helpful and then getting um samples of different like foundations can give you little baby samples of that um yeah i don't put concealer in here to be honest i just use my foundation but yeah so that basically concludes it um yeah also buying online sephora gets you little cute um samples that you can also use in here but yeah guys so thank you so much for watching Please subscribe down below. I'm hoping to post a lot more work. Um, right now, I'm trying to figure out this collaboration uh, with Toy Story Lover 333. So go and check out her channel if you really love Toy Story. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hit the bell uh, if you want to get notifications for new videos. And follow me on Instagram.